video is for people who have Pluto or Scorpio in the sixth house. Now, the sixth house, let's talk about it. First of all, sixth house is your health. It's your mind-body connection, what you hold within and what you surround yourself with. The people, the environment. Now, Pluto being the underworld, let's talk about just one aspect of sixth house, which is health first. Now, people with this placement may have illnesses or conditions that are mysterious and unexplainable. And the reason being is because you need to go further than the surface level. The surface level diagnosis, because with this placement, right, like I said, Pluto is the underworld. All the toxins, including thoughts, emotions, you know, bitterness that you held on to are going to come to the surface and they're going to affect your health at some point. And that's why a lot of the times I see these people cannot be helped by doctors alone. They are the ones who can heal themselves, actually. If they stay accountable, right, for their actions, for their thoughts, what they've consumed, what they've allowed, okay? Sixth house is also routine. You know, these people tend to overwork themselves. They love to control their routine and even health. I see a lot of people with this placement, they get very obsessive and controlling when it comes to uh, taking care of their routine, taking care of their health, you know, the supplements that they take. But, you know, that's just another manifestation of Pluto, really, which is, you know, having control. But if you obsess over something, there is no balance. And, and since we know that Pluto is all about extreme ways of being, behaving, you know, obsessive behavior in regards to your health is not good. It's going to make you sick mentally and psychologically. And whatever you're trying to control may actually not be under your control, like in the end. When Pluto starts working, you will see. The next house is the Virgo house. It represents your routine, the work that you do. These people may obsess over work and overwork themselves. So that's another reason why their health may suffer. Since sixth house uh, opposes the twelfth house, it's, it signifies the connection between the external world and internal world. Reality, like this reality, the world, and the outer side, which is the twelfth house god these people may have a very strong connection with god at times they may not now let's go back to the routine thingy uh when it comes to routine right they love to control their routine and if someone is trying to interfere with their routine try to interfere with their routine all the while they had everything planned hour by hour they will get pissed better not play with these people when it comes to throwing off their routine throwing off their plans and you know interfering without notice pluto is all about psychology but not the surface level you know psychology it's what's deep inside of you something that you're ashamed of you know something that you may not want to talk about because you know eighth house taboo or um, negative thoughts, uh, pessimistic worldview. Psychological complexes have a big toll on health with this one. So uh, when healing a particular disease or condition, it's important to look at other aspects of your life and what's happening there. Because not the sixth house necessarily creates you know, that problem, the other houses. Now look at the Pluto aspects. Uh, difficult aspects such as opposition, squares with other planets, and also pay attention to the house where those planets are in because it will tell you through what area you may develop disease, which will help you find answers and heal faster. How does Pluto actually do it? Pluto does it by weakening the body's natural defenses when the illness, you know, enters your body because of the negative thoughts and psychological complexes. So it cannot be met at face value. You gotta look elsewhere psychology specifically one big um tip for you guys um since sixth house is all about mind body connection but also your environment you gotta have a positive attitude in regards to all aspects of your life you know and um how how do you relate to your environment is there a unity or is there a separation now these people may also have anxiety about routines and cleaning um or just to pick up a outfit is a big deal for these people <laughs> they have this anxiety and deal with it by cleaning like overly cleaning the house like getting um like ocd types displacement are ocd types <laughs> like i said about work because sixth house represents work too uh when it comes to work these people may um you know experience pluto through work first of all for them to be happy at a job they need to be passionate and actually obsessive over something that they do otherwise they're not going to be invested nor are they going to stay long enough um, at that firm or company 
but at the same time their obsession may uh, be too much uh, to a point where you know it's, it's difficult to work with these people they may be you know since sixth house belongs to virgo it's all about you know routines and logic mercury you know being practical uh, these people can't be practical but they can put too much emphasis on practicality and completely reject spirituality see with the sixth house if you have malefic planets such as pluto saturn i'm a saturn in the sixth and i have a saturn return now real bad my health yep all all of the things that i've done over the years now my health is um yeah shows me the results and my psychological complexes like the uh, buried emotions the buried thoughts in relation to the past events that's what you got to deal with now another malefic planet is mars you know uh, my husband has mars in the sixth uh, power struggles at work you know very very possible with this placement and uh, you know co-workers situation may be toxic people may be toxic at work uh, because sixth house is you know also co-workers and environment there should be always a balance between um, practicality being you know routine oriented and you know hardworking and da 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 and spirituality because always always remember uh, to look at the opposing house if you reject that's the shadow that's the shadow you may bury the shadow of a spiritual side of yourself meaning in the name of practicality and logic if you do that um, you will not be happy there won't be fulfillment that you seek plutonian careers are psychology medicine psychiatry things to do with emotion and intensity i'm running out of time i hope you like this video and follow me for more